Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about how to download and install Oracle Hyperion. First, we go to Oracle Support account and create a non-technical SR to download Oracle Hyperion 11.1.2.4. Okay, this is the SR that I have created before. I have asked Oracle I need Hyperion 11.1.2.4.000 base version. Okay, it should be base version. Okay, then Oracle gave to me this URL. It's valid for only seven days. If you are having uh, Oracle account, Oracle support account, you can contact to me to upload source file to you to be able to download it and install Oracle Hyper. Okay, if I take this URL and go to it, it will appear agreement first. Okay, I agree, continue. It will give to me list of sources that I will need some of it, not all of these sources I will need, okay? I will not need this. Okay, 16, 22, okay, not need this. Okay, 28, okay, 29, no. Okay, 11, 16, 22, 28. This is the name of the file 22 28 34 41 34 41 42 no 47 47 okay 53 53, 60, okay, 60, okay, no, 61, 09, no, 10, 62, 63, and 52 is the documentation for installation, as you need it, okay, it's not needed, uh, not add value with us, okay, then press download. It will download a list of zip file like this. Okay, we should to mark all and then right click extract file, name the file, our period. Okay, inside our device, not in our virtual machine. Okay. Okay, it's extracted successfully. Open WinSP. You will find inside resources directory database that we are installed before and zip file. Right click, delete. Then drag and drop Hyperion folder inside resources inside Linux VMware. Okay, it's moved successfully. Open our VM. Right click here. Aid connection. We will make the IP Automatic apply. I'm going disconnect. Connect again. Okay. We we'll check our information. Same. Open more extreme as root user. Okay. Prerequisite package for installation. 
Oracle Hyperion 11.1.2.4.0. Take this command. Execute it. Total download size. One mega. Yes. Okay, it's finished successfully. Second step, creating SR to download Oracle Hyperion application 11.1.2.4 as we do before. Okay, third step, download patch to merge it with Hyperion source. Take this URL copy, okay, and open it here. And press download, okay, to download this patch. 290.11.2.4. Seven. Okay. I already downloaded it. This one. I will take drag and drop to my resource file here. This batch is required because it's fixed some issue inside the Hyperion source. We will merge this batch with Hyperion source that we are downloaded. Okay. Do not face any issue during our installation. Okay, we need to log in as an Oracle user. And we will execute this command using Oracle user to merge this patch with Hyperion resource. And that command, this is the URL path for the patch. Okay, and dash G to extract it inside the Hyperion file, folder, sorry. Okay. It's downloaded successfully. Okay. Cannot find or open this patch. Let's check it again. Give privilege to it. Okay. Okay, we should to create new directory here called patch. Move it inside it. Give the permission. Okay, then execute the command again. Like this. Okay, it asks you to replace some file. Okay, we will press all A for all. This one. Then press enter. Okay, it's extracted successfully and finished. Clear. Unpack our document. Install. Oracle Hyperion. Take this command. This is a path, product, resource, Hyperion install tool. That exists here. Resource Hyperion install tool. This one. Okay. Let's execute it using Oracle user. Press enter. Okay. Permission denied. Let's take this. Off and write this command change mode dash r three seven. This command to give permission to all users. Okay, and execute the command again. Install will be initiated. Okay, select language. English, press OK. This 
then press next path for your execution it will be this path product fmw take it copy okay not copy it go to it ui01 add oracle product fmw next new installation next i check all to check what we are needed from this component we have this document of what we are needed okay you choose component from here foundation service we will take Oracle HTTP server and foundation service okay performance management will take it all and calculator manager okay next one from space we'll choose a space server and a space studio server and a space administration and provider service from reporting and analysis framework and financial reporting and web analysis open each of them okay planning we will choose planning and Disclosure management, financial management, we'll choose all of them. Okay. And FDM Enterprise Edition. All these components. And press next. This is the summary. Of installation and then press next to start the illustration illustration will take around 30 minutes to finish because it will it will install many components Okay, installation finished successfully. Press finish. Currently, we are installed Oracle Hyperion and Oracle Linux virtual machine. See you in next video.